British forces and civilians have today been absorbing the implications of the government's decision to completely pull out of Germany by 2020. It poses numerous questions for soldiers and their families as a complete military community that's been in place since the end of the Second World War is dismantled over the next decade. Our chief reporter in Germany, Martha Fairley, has been gauging the initial reactions. Well, the speed with which the British forces will be leaving Germany has taken many by surprise. In a letter to the armed forces, the chief of the general staff, General Sir Peter Wall, explained that this is really only the start of the planning process. And he said, we aspire to withdraw from Germany over the next 10 years as and when the estate opportunities and resources can be found. But I stress this must be consistent with a coherent defence infrastructure plan, which will now need a great deal of work. Well, as you can imagine, the story is front page news in the German press today. And earlier on, I asked the mayor of Paderborn for his reaction. Very sad. Uh, I said there are a lot of good neighbourships, friendships, uh, a lot of people working for the British uh, troops, uh, working for the British uh, people living here. And uh, they were uh, very surprised and, and uh, sad, very sad, yes. Well, in Paderborn garrison and right across Germany, soldiers are now being briefed by their commanders on the contents of the defence review. Although many of the soldiers from 20 Brigade are currently training in Canada and some from 7 Brigade are over in the UK on exercise. For many of the soldiers, of course, it won't make any difference. They'll either be posted out of Germany or have left the army completely by 2015 or 2020. But many soldiers have made Germany their life and have married German wives. And the AFF in Germany admit that it'll be a difficult and uncertain time for many families. Certainly for families that have, um, have children that are approaching secondary school age and looking forward as to um, how this could impact on them. Um, but I would say that at the moment, um, AFS advice would be don't panic information will come down to us all and that information AF will make sure is fully disseminated out so that people can understand what's happening. Well in JHQ they've already seen the ARC move to the UK this year and our reporter there Rob Olver has been gauging the reaction. Here in Rheindalen there's been no sense of shock and awe after yesterday's statement. Rhine Garrison's closure was announced some time ago with the last troops to signal regiments leaving Javelin Barracks in Elmps by 2016. Many German workers also know that they're to lose their jobs. But Rheindalen is also home to many big organisations like the Germany Support Group, the BFG Health Service and Service Children's Education. They're meant to be moving to Gütersloh in three years. But a question many people are asking today is if Gütersloh is closing too, is it worth the expense of going there? It's a question certain to be addressed in a drawdown plan to be unveiled in March. UK Support Command will be enabling the final drawdown and its commander, Major General Nick Kaplan, says he intends to develop a sound plan for the withdrawal from Germany with the minimum of disruption to the soldiers and their families who are posted here. Clearly, any plan will be constructed in close consultation with our German hosts. Well, he's asked the BFG community to be patient while the plan is developed, but he said, I wish to assure you all that it will not be rushed and every consideration will be given to all our families, both military and civilian. And we'll be speaking to General Kaplan in more detail on tomorrow's British Forces News.